Good day. My name is Casey Whitson. I'm the department chair for music at Bellarmine Prep in Tacoma. Welcome to Bellarmine's first ever virtual end of year concert. Much of this concert is unprecedented. You'll see students performing in their living rooms, bedrooms, and garages. They'll be in all manner of dress, at least relatively school appropriate. It'll be all hours of the day in their recordings, and they'll be in all manner of circumstances. I think we even have at least one house cat getting involved in tonight's performance. The concert you're about to hear was performed asynchronously, in isolation. Each student is playing with a click track, unable to hear the music of their peers. But in the face of these strange circumstances, there is much that is entirely within the norm. You'll see at least some of the trappings of our end of year concerts as we honor our students as we close the season. You'll probably see percussionists struggling to stay focused as they count the 200 measures of rest until their next all-important entrance. But above these mundane details, you will see the hard work, dedication, and high caliber performance that we expect from our Bellarmine students. I'll end my time with you in a way that conventional wisdom, made obsolete by unconventional times, dictates one never should, with an apology. We've all had a learning curve this season. The biggest has been mine. As the audio engineer and video editor for everything you're about to see, I take responsibility for all the errors. And indeed, the most egregious and regretful of these is the groups that are missing from this concert. Although the members of Jazz 2 and the choirs produced materials as strong as any that made it into this video, I give incomplete instructions and was unable to compile the raw materials into a product worthy of our students' abilities. Choirs and Jazz 2, I've learned from this experience. I'll be better moving forward, and I apologize for not including you and honoring the work that you've done. Without further ado, please enjoy the 2020 Bellarmine Music Department End of Year Concert.
Hello, everyone. Thank you, Casey, for the opportunity to just say a few words. I, I want to say thank you uh, to you for this wonderful work that you are doing in creating a virtual concert, and of course, to our musicians. This has been quite the spring, uh, certainly nothing that we have seen before, and it's challenged us in, in many ways. But what I've enjoyed um, most is watching people manage the situation. The musicians, my hat goes off to you. I was able to watch the piece um, put together for the auction, and it was beautiful. And I know that this concert is going to be another representation of some great talent. Thank you for your tenacity, your courage to step into something that's unfamiliar and uncomfortable, but to continue to see music as a way to express yourself. Uh, the world needs more musicians. And as we finish up our year, I just want to say thank you for staying with us and continuing this great work. Take care and God bless.
The music department gives a number of awards each year to the senior class. It's always difficult to choose recipients from among our deserving seniors, but it's a necessary evil, even as it is an honor to be able to recognize the efforts of the few who we are able. This year's Outstanding Musician Awards go to the following seniors. Daniel Beck, Outstanding Male Vocalist. Lorraine Ignau, Outstanding Female Vocalist. Bridget Boley, Outstanding String Instrumentalist. Laura McMonagle, Outstanding Jazz Instrumentalist. Joshua Hu, Outstanding Male Instrumentalist. Juliana Tran, Outstanding Female Instrumentalist. In addition, I would like to acknowledge two student musicians with Director's Awards for Most Improved. These two individuals are ones who I feel have made strides in their musicianship over their four years at Bellarmine that are well beyond the norm. The 2020 Most Improved Seniors are Julia Witecki and A.J. Steele. The Bellarmine Music Department presents pins and letters to students for use on letterman jackets and or graduation attire. These are awarded based on service to the program. Students devoting three years to the Bellarmine Music Program or one year in an auditioned ensemble received a Bellarmine Music Letter, which is distinct from the Block B that is awarded to athletics. After a student has received the B, they will have their year recognized with a year pin. I have once again got to admit my fallibility in all this disruption at the end of the year cycle. I failed to order these yearly items. I plan to do so soon and once they arrive I will offer a day that students can come by Allen Hall to pick up letters and pins. I will also keep them on hand and people are welcome to come get their due at any point during next year. And lastly, before we finish tonight's concert with our final performance, the scholarships. Each year, Bellarmine Music Department awards tuition scholarships for four deserving music students selected by audition and application. The freshman scholarship is a need and merit-based scholarship for $200. This year, there were no freshman applicants, so that money will be retained in the endowment. The Michael Allen Memorial Scholarship is a need and merit-based scholarship that goes to a rising sophomore. Sorry, a rising junior, a current sophomore. Michael Allen was a student at Bellarmine who was very instrumental in getting the band program started. He kept asking the question of the Bellarmine administration, when are we going to have a band like Foss or Stadium? Eventually, he was able to convince the administration to start a band but unfortunately, Michael became ill and passed away from good pastor's disease before he was able to see his dream of having a Bellarmine band come to life. The music building is named in his honor, and the Allen family continue to support the music department through this memorial scholarship in Michael's name. The 2020 Michael Allen Memorial Scholarship recipient is Robin Gorder. The Michelle Gassane Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a junior rising senior and it is need and merit-based. Michelle was a student in the choral program at Bellarmine, and after her passing, her parents set up this scholarship in her memory. Percy Gassain, Michelle's mother, continued for many years to be an active member in the music and drama program, chaperoning and driving for choir trips for many years and working with costumes and props for dozens of productions. The Gassain family continued to support the music department through this memorial scholarship in Michelle's name. The 2020 Michelle Gassain Memorial Scholarship recipient is Jada Mbogwa. The Dr. James Holloway Memorial Scholarship is a merit-based scholarship, and it is open to all classes, including seniors graduating. Dr. Holloway was a music professor at Pacific Lutheran University and had children who were in the choral program at Bellarmine. Dr. Holloway was a very giving man who was always willing to share his gift and talent of music with others. If a student was in need of an accompanist for solo and ensemble, he would volunteer and never accept payment. He was tragically shot and killed on the PLU campus in 2001 in an act of random violence, the day after playing for our students at the Farewell to Seniors concert. Dr. Holloway had a passion for music and academic excellence in awarding this scholarship. We honor his memory. The 2020 Dr. James Holloway Memorial Scholarship recipient is Hayden Kalohea.